This video provides a technical overview of the process used to transfer height maps from TerraSculptor Terrain Software to Unreal Engine 5 Landscape. This video will show a few examples, but it is no means totally exhaustive for every height map resolution and option that is available. Unreal Engine 5 has specific landscape dimensions that must be adhered to when creating height maps. These dimension values are the optimum landscape sizes that provide the best rendering performance of the terrain mesh components. The optimal dimensions are 127, 253, 505, 1009, 2017, 4033, and 8129. You can also use the intermediate dimensions of 1513, 3025, and 6097. With a landscape scale XY of 100 units, which is the default, in centimeters, each landscape size is the equivalent number of meters. So a 2017 size would be 2017 meters or 2 kilometers. And an 8129 size would be 8129 meters and 8 kilometers. The largest supported optimal size is 8129, which is an 8 kilometer terrain. To obtain sizes larger than this requires the use of world composition or world partition and tiled height maps. See the videos on this channel regarding those two Unreal Engine features. To help you in choosing the correct Unreal Engine landscape and world composition and world partition sizes, the TerraSculptor software includes an Unreal Engine landscape sizes dialog. This dialog is always available on the tools menu and can be enabled for the new resample, downsample, and size dialogs by choosing Unreal Engine in the settings dimensions. TerraSculptor can be used to create procedural height maps using the built-in noise map generators. Or the import terrain file menu item can be used to import more than 100 different file formats. TerraSculptor also includes dozens of modifiers to change and deform a terrain height map, and many tools for working with masks, weight maps, splat maps, and even normal maps. TerraSculptor is free to use for personal, academic, and commercial use, and is under active development with thousands of future features planned. Procedural terrain height maps can be created using the wide variety of noise map generators, which can then be modified with the dozens of modifiers including procedural erosion simulations. Create a new project or a new terrain using one of the optimal landscape sizes. The Unreal Engine Landscape Sizes dialog can help to choose the correct dimensions. Then be sure to normalize the height map to maintain quality when exporting to a PNG 16-bit grayscale image. Digital elevation model files of real Earth and Moon and planetary locations can be obtained for free from a number of repository websites on the Internet. Digital elevation model files are available in a number of spatial resolutions. However, the resolution that works best with Unreal Landscape is 1 meter data. TerraSculptor can import and export a number of digital elevation model file formats, including BIL and GeoTIFF and more. After importing the digital elevation model file, resample it to one of the optimal landscape sizes. The Unreal Engine Landscape Sizes dialog can help to choose the correct dimensions. Then be sure to normalize the height map to maintain quality when exporting to a PNG 16-bit grayscale image. Before exporting to PNG 16-bit grayscale file format for Unreal Engine, be sure to normalize the height map first. This is because the export conversion to 16-bit integer data is a decrease in elevation resolution. So to avoid issues such as stair-stepping quantization in the landscape terrain mesh, be sure to normalize before exporting. On the file menu, choose the export terrain item. In the file type drop-down control, choose the PNG image file type. Navigate to the desired destination folder, specify the file name, and click on the Save button to export.
On the Mode drop-down, choose Landscape. On the New tab, choose the Import from File tab. Click on the ellipses next to the height map file controls and browse to the height map to import. A green low resolution outline of the terrain will appear in the viewport. If you already have a material ready, you can select it in the material controls. The location Z and scale XYZ values can be set at this time, or the landscape can be adjusted after it is imported if this is a single landscape and not a world composition or world partition. See the next two chapters for information on the location and scale properties. The following information assumes that you've normalized the height map before exporting from TerraSculptor. This information also assumes that the landscape scale Z is 100, which is the default value. For a normalized height map terrain, a location Z of 0 will center the landscape on the world Z origin of 0. So the landscape will be equal amounts above and below the world Z origin of 0. The landscape can be moved up so that the world Z origin of 0 is the global water plane elevation. To move the terrain height map up in the world so that its lowest altitude point is at the Unreal Engine World Z origin of 0, set the landscape location Z to 25,600. If the height map includes water regions that you wish to have below the world origin Z of 0, then adjust the landscape location Z back down to a value of 10,000 units for every 100 meters lower. So a landscape location Z of 15,600 is 100 meters down below world Z origin of 0. And a landscape location Z of 5,600 is 200 meters below world Z origin of 0. The following information assumes that you've normalized the height map before exporting from TerraSculptor. The landscape scale Z determines the overall altitude range of the landscape terrain. For a normalized height map, a landscape scale Z of 100 is 512 meters in altitude range. So for a normalized height map, a landscape scale Z of 200 is 1024 meters in altitude range. And a scale Z of 50 is 256 meters in altitude range. When adjusting the landscape scale Z, the terrain altitude range is treated as a signed value in that the scale always changes the altitude range around the center altitude value of the height map. So a landscape scale Z of 50 is one half of the altitude range that is centered on the Z axis from its original scale Z of 100. If the landscape is not centered on the world Z, such as if it is adjusted so that the lowest altitude is on the world origin of 0, that means that if you adjust the landscape scale Z to any value other than 100, the landscape location Z will have to be adjusted again to get it positioned on the world Z origin of 0 again. In UE4, the landscape height map data was stored in the map data built data U asset file. This has changed in UE5. The landscape height map data that is imported is divided into components and stored as landscape streaming proxy files in the external actors folder. Each landscape streaming proxy is one component, and each component is a power of two texture that contains the height data. Each component is also a renderer draw call. An 8129 by 8129 height map is 132 megabytes of data, but when converted for use as a landscape, the file size for the landscape components grows to approximately 500 megabytes. So a project is five to eight times the size of what the raw height map data is.